today, oh yeah, we are checking out one glorious, beautifully crafted, stir the emotions, Triumph Daytona 675 ABS, it's a 2013 model. And this actually has a couple little upgrades on it. But as we get into this, you're going to see pretty quickly. Look at the face of that. Oh, yeah. You're going to see pretty quickly. This thing is very, very clean, very nice. Just a great bike. Anybody looking for a little bit of an exotic sport bike? Well, here you go. Bar ends are good. Been over this thing, trying to find any kind of blemishes, and it's hard to see anything that's messed with it at all. There's the tiniest, tiniest little scuff there. But, I mean, there's really not much going on that's going to cause for any kind of concern. There's just some of that normal stuff going on with the, the tinted windscreen. Where it looks like the inside just peels a little bit, but not really a big deal. And you can see the red paint on this bike is in really great shape. Just an awesome looking bike. If you've ever been on one of these, and especially cranking it with the exhaust on them, that is such a sound, you'll never forget it. It is as distinct as any other bike out there that's got a sound of its own, and this is absolutely one of them. So this bike has the Carbon Fiber Two Brothers Racing low-mounted, low-slung exhaust underneath the motor for mass centralization. So whipping it left to right, you don't have that weight up top where normally exhausts used to be, primarily up there. Well, everybody's going to this uh, undertail exhaust or or rather under motor exhaust uh, Ducati's been doing it too you can see it on this one uh, Triumph's been doing it couple companies Kawasaki I see a bunch of bikes like that now Yamaha's got it just depends on which models you're looking at but a lot of them are going to that because uh, the weight is not behind you anymore and you're not pushing it from side to side it's just a real sleek design you can see how clean this bike is. Yeah, this is a gorgeous machine. These are highly sought after. Every time I get these in, they do not last very long. I can tell you that. Not much for anything going on blemish-wise, folks. This is just in really good shape. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Just a great looking bike. So let's go ahead and turn it on here, see what we got. 6,133 miles, that's it. So that is not a whole lot, that's for sure. So let's see what we got here, can we get the signals going? Yep, okay, so left front, you can see how it's integrated into the fairing there. And how that's integrated into the tail. Now, that may be something that we actually put a, uh, a stalk on the rear. Sometimes we do that as per Pennsylvania state inspection laws. Um... We might actually switch that out, but that's your right rear and right front. Primer up here. Oh, I'm gonna have to pull the clutch on this one too. Oh, yeah. 
That sounds so good. Oh, you hear that whine in the triple? Low guttural sound of the two brothers. Carbon fiber pipe. When that hits full song, it is going to be a big smile on your face. I can pretty much guarantee that, no doubt. So that's low beam, high beam, low beam, high beam. It's got the little driving light on there. Look at that. Oh, you know what? Let's do the brake. So, let's see here. This is foot brake and hand brake. Such a cool bike. You can just kind of go on and on about it because it's awesome looking. You got seating for your passenger. That's funny because modern day bikes, this is about the size. And in one of the other videos, this is a 2000. You can see that <laughs> in 2000, they were about double the size as they are today. And in terms of the Ducati, that you can see you can replace it it's about the same thing so everything has gotten much smaller more compact you can see through the center of this bike it is a very compact design the bikes are lighter more nimble way more potent and capable of doing what you ask of it and they do it in a lot of style beautiful beautiful machine Yeah, the little exhaust ports there for the for the heat to escape. There's your shock. Such a cool bike, liquid cooled. Yeah, you can't go wrong with these. I'm telling you. Whoo, it's a hot machine. So if you are digging the 2013 Triumph Daytona 675 Triple ABS, give us a call at 717-273-1809. You can see our full list of inventory at www.cyclehunters.com. You can email us at cyclehunters at gmail.com. We have financing options available. We can deliver bikes sometimes. We can ship bikes. We have aftermarket warranties available. Every bike that we have will get a 48-point checklist that we go through the bike with. You know, if the bike needs it, it gets it. We're riders taking care of riders, so we're going to try to make this thing as close to what it was when it was brand new. They're all used bikes, but everything that we do to them, we try to bring them up to the tip-top shape so that when you get it, turn the key on, thumb the starter, just go off down the road with a big smile on your face because that's what this is all about. Just make you really happy. You open up the garage and you see that, that's going to put a smile on your face. And you are going to be happy. You're going to be looking for excuses to go ride just to go down to the store and pick something up. Better wear a backpack though because this doesn't have saddlebags or anything to, to put on it or to put anything in. So... Maybe you just go get a pack of gum or something. But you will have a heck of a fun time riding to get there. Oh, yeah. Well, folks, until the next bike, happy riding.